Hi guys, it's Aoife from Fred We See Die Laughing and I'm here with my weekly wrap up. So I didn't get as much books read this week as last week but I still got a few great books read and I really want to tell you all about them and that's what I'm going to do now. So the first book I read was a neck alley arc that I had and that is The Corset by Laura Purcell. Laura Purcell wrote The Silent Companions which came out last year as well and that's got quite a good bit of buzz and people are talking about it again around this time of year as well because it's a bit of a Victorian gothic horror kind of book um, and The Corset is a little bit similar. It's also set in the Victorian times and if follows two different women Dorothea and Ruth um, and Ruth is a young girl who she grew up um, in poverty she's a seamstress and she seems to believe that she um, has this power through her kind of sewing and through her stitches she can kind of if she's feeling kind of ba bad thoughts or ill feeling towards someone she can put it into the items of clothing that she's made and she's able to basically make people sick or even kill people through her sewing and through the bad feelings she's putting into clothes um, and when we meet her, um, it's Dorothea is she is kind of a young um, woman who is kind of being a do-gooder. She's visiting jails and visiting women in jail, and she visits Ruth, who is on death row for the murder of um, a person. And she is getting Ruth's story, um, and. Dorothea and the reader is kind of trying to figure out if what Ruth is saying is is the truth like does she have these evil powers through her sewing or is it all just kind of a coincidence. I really really enjoyed my reading of this book and um, I just thought the atmosphere was great in it it was kind of dark and a little bit grimy and I don't know I just felt myself really really sucked into the story and um, it reminded me a little bit of Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood which is told in a little bit of a similar way and um, the way you know that you have a visitor visiting someone in jail and getting their story through like gradual um visit. There's also um a Dorothea is in, in, uh, interested in I think it's Phorology it's called which is basically studying someone's skull and through the lumps and bumps in someone's skull you can apparently tell their personality and if they're more inclined to you know do evil things um, and she's really interested in this and she's kind of like using Ruth as a test subject so even that and learning more about that and what people used to believe in terms of how people's skulls were shaped and how that could you know contribute to the way they acted in life and um, I thought that was really really interesting to learn about because I haven't really seen that in books ever and um, I knew it was a thing but like I've never really known much about it so to see it kind of being practiced in this book and um, I really enjoyed that. I did definitely think I liked Ruth better than Dorothea more so just because I think Ruth the way she told her story you definitely do feel a lot for her um, and you're seeing kind of the the situation she's come from and you know she never really had much of a chance really um, with anything that she was doing and yeah I just I did really really enjoy this book I gave it a four out of five stars and I do definitely recommend it for people to read. This book I read was unfortunately a little bit of a disappointment that was Beneath the Citadel by Destiny Saria. Uh, this book I got from Abrams and Chronicle in exchange for an honest review and um, I requested from them and this is basically set in this I think it's called Aldra and um, the city of Eldra um, and we are following four different teenagers um, and all we know is that this city basically lives on prophecies so there's people born within the cities with kind of like special powers there's people who can and um, they're called seers and they can prophesize the future and this has happened for hundreds and hundreds of years so this city is living on a future that's already been told like they're supposed to basically already know everything that is going to happen but as is in a lot of these kind of places um it's quite corrupt and these uh, four teenagers we have Casa, Alice, Evander and Newt and they are um trying to basically bring down the citadel which is kind of the main power building um in this city and they are trying to basically infiltrate the uh, citadel and bring it down from within and I feel like the premise of this story was really interesting. I like the idea of this city that's based on prophecies and lives off these prophecies and um, these really subtle kind of powers that people have. There's some things where people can like take people's memories, they can um, you know make people forget certain things and they can you know possess memories of others. It's really really interesting and you have one character who is like a special bond with silver and he can make like silver coins and stuff do like special things. He can kind of it's almost like magic but technically it is science um, and yeah there was just some really interesting bits in this but I just felt like it felt really flat for me Um, like the minute you go into this book the the four teenagers the te they're already the gang are already kind of um they've already been arrested for trying to do what they wanted to do and this is kind of where they go from there and because of that I kind of felt like I was always like five steps behind the story and I always felt like I was rushing to catch up at what was happening and I couldn't really grasp um kind of the excitement and the anticipation and you know the intensity of everything because I was just I don't know I was just 
really kind of figuring out where I where I was and what I was supposed to be feeling and I don't know I just I didn't really enjoy it and um, I didn't really connect with any of the characters at all and um, I did enjoy the fact that they were diverse characters and um, so you have a character who's bisexual you have a character who's gay there's a character who's asexual um, and they do talk about that a little bit and I do really enjoy that and I, I'm really glad that representation is there in this book and um, but in saying that the characters themselves just didn't really like gel with me and um, I didn't feel myself particularly caring towards any of them um, like what happens in this book and the way the kind of the um the way the group is it reminded me a little bit of like six of crows and that group but in six of crows our little the little group that we have there are just done way better i think um than in this one and i just really didn't care like i like to be honest i read the majority of this book i read like 300 pages of this book in one day um, and then I found myself the next day I just didn't want to pick it up like I wasn't that interested in finishing it there's supposed to, stuff that's supposed to be kind of like you know like tear worthy at the end and I again I just didn't really care um so yeah I just was missing any emotion I was supposed to have with this book I just didn't gel with the characters as, as I said I really liked the premise of it I just thought the execution was a bit flawed I just thought it got a little bit boring at times it kind of felt like they were going around in circles and um, I felt like I was struggling to keep up with them at times like I just yeah it just I don't know it was just a bit messy for me I just didn't enjoy it um which is annoying because I really enjoyed Destiny Saria's um other book Ironcast I really really love that book so I am disappointed that I didn't enjoy this much as I wanted to but yeah unfortunately that's just what happens sometimes so I gave this a 2.5 out of 5 stars and um, it might work for other people it just didn't work for me and then the last book I finished this week and um, I read What If It's Us by Becky Abertali and Adam Silvera which is a highly anticipated book and um, this month and a lot of people have been reading it and I absolutely loved this book and um, I've heard some people and some people whose reviews I really really trusted and they weren't as crazy about this book as they thought they were going to be so I was actually very kind of not nervous but I definitely did wonder how I was going to find it I didn't know if I was going to love it or if I was going to be really bored of it um but I'm really glad that I end up really really loving this book so this is about Arthur and Ben who have this kind of meet cute in a post office in New York um, and Arthur ends up kind of doing this kind of um missed connections thing to try and find Ben again and obviously they meet and they start to date and this is just about their love story through these couple of months that the two of them are in New York um and it's basically them going through a lot of firsts together and just really enjoying their time and falling in love with each other and it is just the sweetest cutest story and I just really really enjoyed it no big like crazy kind of plot twist or you know big secret or thing or anything in this book that like you know explodes at one point and everything messes up it's quite just like this really lovely little romance and um, that you can really really root for you have these characters who are just so charming that just you fall in love with um like I was like this book was one of those kind of books that just gave me all the noises if you know what I mean so like I was laughing along with it I was cooing along with it and um, I just did not want to put this down like it was kind of like the opposite like beneath the citadel I just I put it down I didn't want to pick it back up where with this book I didn't want to put it back to, I didn't want to put it down at all I just wanted to keep on reading um so I ended up finishing it like really really quickly I, I finished it within a day um it's just it's just so cute I just really really enjoyed it I love the characters I particularly love um Ben's best friend Dylan I really loved him I thought he was really really funny I really loved the easy um relationship he has with Ben obviously Ben is gay and then Dylan is straight but they're real kind of um tactile with each other and Dylan loves to like cuddle Ben and like have a bit of fun with Ben like that and I just thought that was really cute and it's really really nice to see those easygoing friendships and people being so comfortable around each other and being comfortable around each other's sexuality and I just think it's really important to have those in books I just really love to see that and I just thought it was really nice and um, as I said all the friendship in this I really really enjoyed but particularly Ben and Dylan's I just thought it was beautiful I thought this book was quite realistic in some points like yeah it's a little bit like on the romantic cheesy side but there are parts of it as well particularly towards the end that are actually quite realistic and you can kind of see what Becky and Adam wanted to do um and yeah it definitely leaves you with a feeling of hope um, and I really really liked that so I give this a five out of five stars because I just had a really really good reading experience with it as I said I was laughing I was awing I was cooing I just I was just so there for um for Arthur and Ben I also really love that Ben was like he was kind of described as like a really hot tall kind of Puerto Rican guy and but like most of the time most of his free time he spent like doing wizard writing wizard fan fiction and playing the sims and I was just like he like he is just I just can relate to him so much um, and I just really really enjoyed that so yeah there's definitely just so many relatable bits in this that I really enjoyed and there are just some hard like moments of writing that you're like wow like these authors are seeing me right now and they're reading me and I really enjoyed that too so yeah five out of five stars really really enjoyed this really like oh I just want more from these authors all the time 
So that's everything I read this week. Please let me know what you guys think. If you've read any of the books, if you have any books you are reading at the moment, please let me know. Um, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!